Currently at Lowe's, if you pick up this four-piece next-generation Cobalt 24-volt kit, you get to pick a free tool. Out of the newer free tools, there is this next-generation six-and-a-half-inch circular saw. We're going to go through this guy top to bottom, see if it's really worth that free tool. When you first pick up this saw, it looks pretty basic. Nothing really special, but you do have an aluminum blade guard, aluminum shoe at the bottom. It is nice. It's numbered. Pretty easy to use here. Zero to 50 degree bevel. 5,500 no load RPMs on this. The one thing that really stands out is the way you adjust your depth of cut. You just squeeze this together. It's nice. I like it. This is something that I have not seen. I'm wondering how it's going to hold up. The numbering system on it's pretty easy to see. You do have this little black marker that puts everything into perspective. That is black on black. I wish it stood out a little bit more, but still not that horrible to see. Blade left design. You do have a rafter hook and your onboard tool here. There is a place that you can put a guide on here that is not included. Let's get out, see how this guy performs. First cut here, we're just going to set this depth to a little over a half inch. Now let's just cut this sheet in half. Now I'm going to move this guy to a little over one inch since we have two half inch pieces of OSB stacked up. Four amp hour extended run battery. Let's just make a cut through, see how it goes. Not bad at all. Now we have the four amp hour ultimate output on. Let's just make a similar cut, see how it performs. Very similar, but a little bit better. Now we have the eight amp hour ultimate output. Let's make this cut and see how it performs. a huge difference in the speed of cut and the reason why is because the voltage is held higher. We did a test on these cobalt batteries and we did it with a drill so you could see the difference in voltage between the extended run and the ultimate batteries. And the ultimate batteries definitely keep a higher voltage level on the tool allowing it to have more torque. This is definitely one of those tools where the ultimate batteries really shine. This guy has a depth of cut at 2 and 3 16 inches at 90 and at 45 it is 1 and 5 eighths. Let's just cross cut here using the 4 amp hour extended run battery. Listen to the motor. Absolutely zero issues with that. You don't even hear any bogging. You know, this is a nice 6.5 inch saw. Let's do it with the 4 amp hour ultimate. Same thing, just spot on. Eight amp hour ultimate. Nothing to it, and I'm even using the stock cobalt 24 tooth blade. Now let's take this and move her over to 45 degrees. I will say on this, the one thing that is kind of rough, it does bevel to 50, so to get to 45, it's not super accurate here at least just in the field looking at it with the sun coming up. Let's see what happens here. So it was a little bit more of a rough cut. Let's put in the four amp hour ultimate. Better, 8 amp hour ultimate. Yeah. 
Again, it just keeps getting better at that point. How many 45 degrees are you gonna use with this? I guess that would kind of determine it. That's definitely a complete full depth cut for this. Maybe a seven and a quarter would be better suited. It did get through it without issue. It's just a little bit slower, especially when you think of how quickly it goes through a complete 90 cut on this. I'm just gonna test for a little bit of cutout or anything that we might see from pushing the saw. Definitely not how you would normally cut. I'm trying to actually get it to cut out at the second half here. Just keep slicing through. Let's move over here and take a look at this dust port. So this dust port can be moved either kind of in an upward direction so you could put a vacuum on it or it's normally facing low. It really can't be blocked off at this point. And when it is low, it's just pushing dust out the side and you can see it's piling up here. But that's not a bad place to push the dust. It's not pushing it towards you. It's just pushing it over on the other side of the cut. I actually like it. If we move it up in the upward position as you would have a vacuum yield, you're gonna see the dust come out a little bit higher. I think this would be more for having a vacuum on it. Still pushing it quite a bit. We're getting the dust to come right through. No issue. That is kind of neat. It does slide on this. Something that I think is, is an interesting idea. I don't know that I'd want it on every saw, but it's nice for the six and a half because it does keep the dust over in a way and not coming out and blowing up in your face. Pretty cool saw. So some things I'm a big fan of. First, the break. It's nice to see on what you would call their low end DIY saw. Pretty quick break, it works nice. I like that we have a aluminum blade guard on the bottom. I know a lot of people talk about, you know, they don't like plastic. I personally don't like to slam my saws down like that, but stuff happens and if you have aluminum there, it's nice. You know, the one thing that, I might be old school, uh, but the blade adjustment or the depth adjustment here is something that I didn't expect to like. I kind of thought, oh, okay, whatever. Um, but I really do. I think that this is something that might catch on and it really works well. It's gonna be a matter of if it holds up, that's gonna be the main kicker for me. This thing is pretty nice. It's not a heavy saw. It's easy to hang on to and all around, it's pretty sweet. Even when you set it on its side, I like the fact that if you're gonna change the blade and you set it on its side, it just sits here flat. That's pretty cool. You know, if we just backed up three, four years, this saw here would probably be what a premium six and a half inch saw would be. You got an LED light that's shining directly on the blade. You got great bevel adjustments. Although the one thing that it doesn't have is very precise looking adjustments. I've seen some saws that have some really precise beveling there. This one's this one will get you there, but no real detents that you can feel at 22 and a half or 45. You're just putting it there based on the line. So if you're gonna do a lot of 45s, just grab some sort of square, square it up, make sure it's there. The dust port, I like the fact of where it's at. We have a rafter hook. I mean, this stuff, Cobalt's definitely, or should I say Shervon, is definitely listening to their clients. They wanna keep the Cobalt line, obviously, because this saw rocks it out as far as a checklist of what everyone would want on their saw. And the performance is great for a six and a half inch saw with a stock blade. It's awesome. So the kicker back in the day, I mean, when Cobalt first switched to 24 volt, went with Shervon batteries like this four amp hour extended run were 10 bucks. I mean, they were trying to get people to move over into them and their batteries are still quite inexpensive for what you get. Some people are saying their batteries aren't lasting. I get it. They could be those $10 ones or they could be the extended run batteries. Either way, if you're using a saw like this or planning on getting into their larger tools, even drills, this four amp hour ultimate output 
is where it's at. You got larger cells. It, it's a little bit larger battery, but at the same point, it works out quite well and gives you that extra power. And if you're really gonna do something for a long period of time, money well spent here on this eight amp hour ultimate output. You can tell the difference between the four and the eight right off the bat. The saw loves the eight, no doubt. I'm impressed. This is their low end blue line tool and it's a great little tool. It is $129 alone. I will say this, for $149, you can get their XRT or XTR, XTR. There's so many different lines these, these days, the XTR. So for 20 bucks more, you can get that in a seven and a quarter. What are you gonna do? You gotta really want the six and a half. But in that case here, it was a free tool, so still a nice saw. Comments below, please. I want to hear what you think of the cobalt line and that of this saw. I'm always interested in what you guys think and what else you might be looking at out there so we can keep ahead of what you guys are purchasing, get some videos out. Thank you for your time. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Give us a like in this video. Have a great day.